loan save number five for Rodney, at what point do you go closer by committee? No, I mean, he. Uh, this has been, like, really uh, awkward to watch. I mean, he's been within one pitch of almost being perfect this season. And, and what, three of the loan saves, I think, has been, uh, come down to the last pitch. I'm, I've not lost any patience with that, honestly. I've not. We have to have this work a certain way for us to be successful all year. You just can't look at a, a, a mini version of the season and draw all these different kinds of conclusions. We're, we're, we're set up to win in a certain way, and you have to continue to utilize people in their appropriate uh, moments and roles. Um, as long as he doesn't lose confidence in himself, I will not lose confidence in him. It's just it's just one of those moments. Do you think any of these blown saves are kind of getting in his head a little bit? I'm sure it's bothering him. You'd have to ask him, but I'm sure it's bothering him a little bit. It's, it would be very difficult to go through the, all the... The really close moments that he's been giving up um, some two out, two strike base hits that have hurt us. Um, so I'm certain that it's uh, cut into his confidence a bit. But again, when you put things together in the beginning of the year, especially us, we have to do things a certain way to be successful. And everybody's here for a specific reason to do a certain job. So I'm not going to run away from guys when they're struggling a little bit. And I, and I don't think he's struggling a lot. It's a little bit, like I said, one pitch away from being pretty darn good. And it wasn't even about the hits. It's about the walk. The walk to uh, over Bay is the most important uh, moment in that game. And then furthermore, we're all sad right now because we have bases loaded, one out in the 10th, and, and then uh, we get strikeout, and uh, then the last out is made. I can't remember what, what happened with uh, well, Joyce Grumble over first. But even even beyond that, back Escobar bullet to right field where each row is in the right spot. So, again, we did, we did a lot of things well. We had the game won probably twice and gave it up, and I'm not just going to put it on one guy. Can you talk about that ball call? I mean, he was pushing pretty well until then. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I wasn't watching him specifically. According to the umpire, he did something differently, but I don't really don't think that he did. And all of a sudden, it became a balk. I, um, you will have to ask them about that because I, 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 my focus was not on the mound. My focus was at the plate at that particular pitch. So I did not see what the umpire saw as being different at that moment. Uh, for me, I thought that we did a good job. I sent a little tone out there to just talk to him. I didn't want to waste a trip right there because there might have been a need for a trip later in the in the inning. And I thought under the circumstances that between Lobatone and, um, you know, speaking Spanish, that they'd be able to get the plane across them. So I felt good about that. It's just, uh, again, I didn't see it closely enough to really comment on it strongly. Overshadowed tonight, your southpaw, Matt Moore, being compared to Babe <clears throat> Ruth right now. Yeah, he, he pitched really well again. And uh, great stuff. He only went, what, six because of that last inning, 90 pitches. It was at about 90, and then something happened there. I think another call that might have been questionable led to some base runners, and then uh, he got up to 104, whatever it was, or 106 at that particular juncture. And that's that was plenty after six. But again, he threw the ball extremely well. I'm seeing uh, overall better command of everything that he's doing. So I thought he really he did. He pitched good. He definitely pitched well enough to win.